everyone. Um, I'm going to do very briefly two slides about the technical details of the integration with Godot engine. Uh, Ariel Mansour is my name. There's my email address. So uh, this is a module for Godot engine. Uh, I'm going to go over what does it actually provide. So uh, it's an interface with the API server. The game calls the API server. It doesn't touch the wallet. The wallet, very important, as we said, the wallet, you know, as game developers, we can be security minded, but we don't know all the sort of hardcore security attacks that our users could, could you know, receive. And so the wallet is, uh, they, they work on that, right? They know uh, all the, I don't know, clipboard attacks and screenshot attacks and all the weird things that we don't, we don't know about. So uh, our game calls the API server, separate from the wallet. It's all JSON calls uh, over HTTP. Um, we, uh, uh, we use the engine objects to do all these calls. Uh, there's a, and you know, it's a callback system. So all calls are asynchronous, even calls that at the Ethereum level are gonna be uh, immediate calls, like uh, give me the balance of this contract. Obviously this is an asynchronous call, so there's callbacks, there's uh, user data with the callbacks, but callbacks, etc. There's a thread. Uh, it's polling multiple sockets. We're pulling the sockets and then we're polling them uh, and uh, maybe in the future, uh, implementation with no threats, maybe for all web HTML5, I don't know which platform doesn't have threats. We have a in-editor uh, tool for to do all these things, mint your items, your tokens, uh, create identities, etc. This is in-editor, on our editor, and uh, you know, uh, right now it's a doc, Maybe it'll be a thing in the middle of the screen. Uh, so how do we, how do we, how do we uh, implement this and distribute? It's, uh, we're using GDScript. GDScript is the scripting language of the script. The reason for this is it's very portable. We don't need to compile one module for each of the sort of 12 platforms that we ship for. Uh, C Sharp and other uh, script languages can call into this this uh, module through the object interface, uh, and you know all the distributions ship with GDScript. GDScript is like 400 kilobytes, so it's not a big deal. Uh, you know, it's a trade-off, but it makes it very portable. It comes uh, via the asset store. It's on a GitHub repository, it comes via the asset store, no installation required. All those things, uh, it's the Godot sort of philosophy, very simple, you get it. And uh, it'll work on first version, Godot 3, eventually Godot 2 for the people who are sticking to that version for a bit, uh, will we'll backport uh, before the first stable release for sure. And that's it. Questions, I'll be around uh, at the booth or, you know, uh, maybe here for a bit. Thank you.